Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered that how to flash build root operating system onto SD card for the Luxfox Pico Mini B RV1103 Linux micro development board. Okay, and we have covered the complete setup with the SSH access of our Luxfox Pico Mini B board. Now, in this video, we will see how to flash build root operating system onto the SD card for Luxfox Pico Pro Max RV1106 Linux micro development board. And again, we are going to cover the full setup with SSH access. So here on the camera, you can see I have Luxfox Pico Pro Max board. Okay, here I have the SD card reader and here I have 64 GB of SD card. Okay, so we are going to flash build root operating system inside this SD card and we are going to load that SD card here. Okay, to boot this board with the build root operating system. So let's see how you can do that. So first of all, I'm going to plug this SD card to my SD card reader. So we have plugged the SD card to the SD card reader and then we'll plug it into our system. Okay, now here you can see format the disk before use. So I'm going to cancel it. I will open the SD card formatter tool. Okay, so SD card formatter. We'll update this later and here you can see 58.24 GB. So it's my 64 GB of SD card. So I'm going to format it. Okay, we have successfully formatted the SD card. Now we can open the SOC toolkit software. Okay, so here you can see SOC toolkit and here I can open the SOC toolkit software to boot the build root operating system onto the SD card. Now here we have to select the chip. So for Luxfox Pico Pro Max, the chip is RV1106. Okay, you can see RV1106 G3 Linux micro development board. So instead of RV1103, we have to select RV1106 and then you have to press OK. Now here I have provided the firmware network this link okay so from this link you can download the operating system for your board so if you want to download the build root operating system for your board then you can navigate to the build root folder and here you can see luckfox pico max micro sd card build root operating system and luckfox pico max nand flash operating system okay so if you want to flash the build root operating system onto the sd card then you have to download this operating system zip file here i have already downloaded okay you can see luckfox operating system build root and luckfox pico max micro sd card image okay so you can download and you can keep it in your system then after you can open the uh, soc toolkit software okay and we want to flash the image onto the sd card so instead of download section, we have to go to the SD tool section. And here you can see we are not able to see any SD card, although it's already plugged in into my system. So what I can do is I can remove the SD card from my system. I can plug it again. OK, and then you can see that SD card here, 58.2 GB. Then after we want to create the bootable SD card, so we will select this SD boot option and we'll click on the boot files button okay then after we'll navigate to the operating system build root and luckfox pico pro max micro sd card image and here we will select all files and then after we will in exclude this update.image file and then you can click on open now you should have this much of file loaded here okay the boot environment id block OEM, rootfs, uboot and the user data and if you want to verify it then you can verify from the documentation page okay you can see that here we have the boot image okay env, id block, OEM, rootfs, uboot and the user data so that's it okay so we have loaded those files here you have to select the sd boot option you have to select your sd card and you have to select the SD tool option from here. Okay, now you can click on create SD card 
to load all those files onto your SD card so you can boot your Luxfox Pico Pro Max board with build root operating system available inside the SD card. Okay, here you can see it is writing onto the SD card and uh, we have to wait until the entire process is done. Okay, here you can see create SD card. Okay, so we have successfully created bootable SD card with build root operating system for our Luxfox Pico Pro Max board. Now you can close this SOC toolkit software. Okay, and uh, I am going to remove the SD card from my system. Okay, I have removed it. Okay, now we will plug that SD card here. Okay. So here you can see, I have plugged the SD card here in the SD card slot, okay, which is uh, booted with the build root operating system. Now we will connect this board with our system. Okay, we have connected and here you can see the user LED is blinking. So our operating system is getting booted. And once it is successfully booted, you will see one ethernet connection in your system. So you can open view network connection in your system. Okay, here once your operating system is booted for this Luxfox Pico Pro Max board, you will see one ethernet adapter here. Okay, here you can see remote NDIS based internet sharing device. Okay, now this is must. So once you see this, it means that our operating system is successfully booted from Luxfox Pico Pro Max board. Now we can right click, we can go to the properties we can go to internet protocol version 4 and here we have to use our custom ip address now what will be the ip address so here you can see uh, yeah for build root operating system this is the default ip address of our usb interface so right now you can see we are connected with this board using usb interface okay so the default ip address for the usb interface is this one so we have to keep our system in this range to connect with the board or to get the SSH access of the board. Okay, so what I can do is I can copy the first three uh, elements and we can paste it here. Otherwise, we can write it 172.32.0.23. Okay, uh, instead of 23, you can write whatever you want to write. Okay, that is fine. Then after you have to press tab. So this will be the default subnet mask. So you have to leave it as it is and you just have to press OK. So you have to press yes. OK. And that's it. Then after you have to open the command prompt and you have to ping our Luxfox Pico Pro Max board. So this is the IP address. I'm going to ping it. And here you can see we are getting successful ping. It means that we are successfully connected with our Luxfox Pico Pro Max board via USB Ethernet connection. Okay, now what you can do is you can open the terminal of your Luxfox Pico Pro Max board using SSH. So here is the command for that. Okay, so you can copy this command. You can paste it here instead of let me clear the screen. Okay, then after you have to type yes, and then after you have to provide the password, which is Luxfox. So L U C K F O X. Okay, and we are inside the terminal of our Luxfox Pico Pro Max board. Okay, we have successfully logged into the terminal of this board. Now you can check free space or you can say free memory. So free hyphen H. So it's our memory detail, okay, and df hyphen h. So it's our storage details, okay. So here is our memory card storage details. So this is how you can boot your Luxfox Pico Pro Max board with build root operating system. You have to prepare your SD card with SOC Toolkit software, okay. You can follow this documentation page to set up your SD card and to boot your SD card with build root operating system then after you have to plug your sd card inside your luxfox pico pro max board and then after you can navigate to the network connection and you can set up your remote ndis based internet sharing device and then after you can connect with this board using ssh and default ip address 
so the default IP address I have already provided here on our website so this is the command to connect with the board and this is the default or static IP address of USB interface of Luckbox board okay if you are flashing build root operating system so I hope this is clear that how you can flash build root operating system onto the SD card for Luckbox Pico Mini B as well as Luckbox Pico Pro Max board okay now let's meet in the future videos and in the future video we will see how you can set up mqtt broker in your luckfox pico pro max board so stay tuned for the future videos now i'm going to power off my device okay and we'll meet you in the future videos till then take care goodbye and thank you